I'll explain you in this video how the Swiss are behind the Ukraine war. As everything always leads back to the base of all evil in the Alps, of Pharaoh's elite, always. And here it says, House of Switzerland, Davos, WEF World Economic Forum. It says, with the only square flag in the world in the Templars' colors, House of Switzerland, Davos 2020. Why does it say House of Switzerland? What house? Where is the house? Well, it's Pharaoh's aristocratic house, like the Perhet White House of Pharaoh, or the Per Tasser Red House of Pharaoh, as Switzerland is Pharaoh's world base. The Swiss beast, home of the devil and the whore of Babylon. They even say it themselves, the house of Switzerland, the Per CH, Per Confederatio Helvetica. Here it even says, welcome to your house of Switzerland. To whom does your refer to? Well, to all these worldwide descendants of Pharaoh, of all races and all nations, who all traded with the whore of Babylon, because it's their house of Switzerland. I can tell you for sure that this your does not refer to any simple Europeans or any other normal earthlings, because the moment you get too near to your house, or rather their house, you'll get taken apart, arrested, fined, and thrown in prison. By the way, this lady here happens to be Ukrainian. And she says the right thing. Gangster party in Davos. So here you can all see the Swiss octagon guys with their assault rifles here. Being afraid of a naked European. Look at the symbol here. In the middle is a circle for the compass. There are four arrows around it for the concept of four, which happens to be the square. So it says this, the, the uh, concept of three and four, because the circle is a concept of three. So it says square and compass. And this thing also is a octagon, because there are eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it says octagon, square and compass by the gangster party in Davos with the Swiss octagon guys defending the Swiss beast. The Swiss octagon here will make sure that you, normal earthling, can't attend their gangster party. Here you can see Russian President Putin together with Klaus Schwab at the World Economic Forum in Davos discussing the reset on humanity. And the Ukraine war has been decided at the WEF World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland by the global elite and its various political state gangsters. Only the date hadn't been fixed yet, for which an enormous scandal had them hurry into the Ukraine 
wall. So in this picture, you can see Putin here in the Kremlin talking with Klaus Schwab in Davos, Switzerland. And this might have been very well the moment on which Klaus Schwab said, OK, Vladi, you can go on with your Ukraine war. Go ahead. You got the green light. But first, something else, which is, of course, also related to Switzerland and the Swiss. And for which you should see this video here, made by Chris Hampton and Wolf Clan Media, entitled Berg Wargate, Big Pharma, Switzerland and Organi Organized Crime 2022. For the reasons of censorship, I had to replace the C word in the title with Berg Wargate, as the C word risks my video being taken off, as only the big media corporations are allowed to pronounce the word without risking further censorship consequences. So here is the title here. I'm not going to pronounce that. You, I'll let you read this yourself. Full documentary. Um, I'll let you read it yourself. Just punch pause here. And this is on the website. Here are their websites. So you, you have to watch it here, the video on this thing here. Rich Planet TV, apparently. But you can watch it at a, some other uh, places as well. But best, of course, watch it here. This is the original. So the guys would be happy if you watch it there. Yeah, Wolf Clan Media. So here it is on Rich Planet TV, show number 296, and it's one hour, so that's part one, and there's also the part two. It's altogether two hours by the US filmmaker Chris Hampton, so go and watch it. I just saw you can also see the video. Uh, here's the title on Brighton by Wolf Clan Media, but I think it's best to have a look at Rich Planet TV because it's their site apparently, and uh, they would be happy if you watch it there, I suppose. It says in the film that the two biggest pharmaceutical and chemical companies in the world are both by this tiny country in the Alps. Their names are Roche and Novartis. And Roche is the biggest. Where I always thought that Novartis was the biggest, which I explain in this 2020 film here, about the various criminal activities of Novartis and Novartis having a virus laboratory in China, in the area of the 2019 virus outbreak. So here's the title, and it's on my channel, Homeland Security. You see, here they have in China, these ones here, Novartis, they have a, a virus laboratory, exactly the same place where the outbreak in 2019 took place. So it explains in the Wolf Clan media film that there is a huge conflict of interest through which the Swiss Roche company made themselves not just billions but 
trillions of dollars. As the PCR Wu flu testing machines belong to the Swiss Roche company. With the whole of humanity being forced to make the Wu flu PCR tests legalized by all those gangster politicians coming together also in the same country of Switzerland who are all working for some multinational company from Switzerland and its various lobbies meaning that the Swiss Roche company had the PCR virus testing machine ready before 2019 Wu flu so it just needed a worldwide bug to make some EC bucks and trillions of dollars fraud profit so go watch that film Chris is a good guy who also wants a better world and I was happy to finally find someone like Chris Hampton who has also realized that there's something rotten in the state of Switzerland. I'm quite sure that all the Russian rumors about those bio labs in the Ukraine are just fairy tales made by those whom you can see here who don't want you to think about Switzerland as the center of all crimes against humanity. And it's here where I wanted to explain you the Swiss connection to the Ukraine war, as in Ukraine war made in Switzerland. Our masters just flipped the switch from one day to the other. From one day you didn't hear anything anymore about the thing to the left starting with the sea and all of a sudden all talks were about the war and the whole Ukraine war is a distraction of something very important that happened only four days before the beginning of Putin's Prussian war on the Ukraine starting on February 24th 2022. So just for the record I show you here one more time the 2022 Russian invasion of the Ukraine. Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th 2022. So I'm going to show you what happened on February 20th and what triggered the Ukraine war, the reason of the Ukraine war, which is made in Switzerland. So four days earlier on February 20th, 2022 a huge financial scandal related to the Putin's pals and the Swiss banks erupted by the name of Swiss secret in French meaning Swiss secrets which is the largest ever leak from a major Swiss bank involving more than 100 billion dollars from over 30,000 clients of the Swiss bank by the name of Credit Suisse and therefore the name of the scandal called Swiss Secret or Swiss Secrets. So here you can read about it, Swiss secrets. Uh, on February 20th, 2022, 
The Süddeutsche Zeitung reported that over a year ago it had received secret data through a secure digital mailbox on more than 30,000 Credit Suisse bank customers, etc. And it goes, um, it's a leak, details of more than 100 billion uh, dollars. So February 20, 2022. So this is the uh, the name of the bank here, Credit Suisse. That's why the name Swiss Secrets or Swiss Secret, same thing. Swiss is the name for Switzerland in uh, French, like uh, the Sisters of Isis, remember? Les Sœurs, uh, Suis, Sœur Isis, the Sisters of Isis. And... Um, so this is only four days before the war. And I've been telling you all the time since more than 11 years now on YouTube that every war gets organized and decided out of Switzerland. Every single major war, even the small ones, it gets always decided in Switzerland. So here we can see another perfect example. So I made videos about it, like the uh, Nobility World Wars and the Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil, in which I give all the proofs that Switzerland, you know, the, the, the beast of the Alps, they all, and every war gets decided there. And now we can see it so clearly with Putin and the World Economic Forum and, and Klaus Schwab and... and Zelensky, they're, they're all there. And, uh, it always comes out of Switzerland, people, believe me, because Switzerland was founded by the Knights Templars. And you see the dates here, February 20th, 2021, only four days before they decided to, uh, to cover it all up with a major war. And actually, on the very day, the Germans and their Süddeutsche Zeitung newspaper and the OCCRP, Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, were supposed to have a live broadcast about it on the internet on February 24th, 2020 at 1800 hours Central European time. Then the Ukraine war started and nobody talked about the biggest Swiss banking scandal ever. No more. And here you can see it here. On February 24th, 1800 hours Central European time, they were going to talk about Credit Suisse here and the Swiss secrets. And this, dear people, is the reason of the Ukraine war and the exact day and time it started to cover this up and as a matter of fact nobody ever talked about it anymore ever since on the list are a lot of dictators aristocrats drug lords mafia bosses and a lot of putin pals like the belarusian aliaksa alexin a close associate of the Belarusian dictator Lukashenko. Another Putin pal is the Syrian Abdul Halim Kadam, or the Venezuelan Luis Carlos de Leon, an aristocrat, and the Venezuelan Nervis Villalobos. So here, at the uh, the Swiss secrets uh, website, and again February twentieth, four days before the Ukrainian war. So here it says notable people named. So Abdelaziz Bouteflika, another dictator, and as uh, Putin, uh, I mean he's full in the Middle East, you know, in Syria and all that. It's not the Russian people, really. And King Abdullah of Jordan, aristocrats, and the Queen Rania. Look. Does she look Arabic? I don't know. 
Um, oh, here he is, Alexei Alexin, a Belarusian businessman who's closely associated with Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko. In summer 2021, the European Union, USA, Canada and Switzerland imposed sanctions on Alexin as a wallet of Lukashenko. So th that's where the money goes from um, the, uh, the Belarusian people were also a victim of it all so they would lose all their money you know if this would have come out so um it, it needed a little war yeah in um in the ukraine which will be over soon i think you know it's not going to be a third world war it's just a distraction uh, and here's the other one alexander lukashenko the um the dictator it's it's all they are all in, they're all Freemasons, Knights Templars, and uh, you know you name it. Yeah, Hashim Yavan, Bakht. They, they're all they're all pals of Putin and Lukashenko. They all they all know each other, you know. And here, Haji Saifullah Khan Bangash. Um, ah, he was the minister of uh, finance, uh, so yeah, he, he's there where the money is, you know. So this is how the how he got hold of the uh, the money of the people. Ah, yeah, this is the house of Bourbon. Actually, I think it's Bourbon, uh, the two Sicilies, and um, he's a pretender to the French throne. Uh, you know. It's the uh, nobility, I mean, and, and and look at the Templar's cross around his neck, the white Templar's cross with the crown over it. It's all aristocracy, dictators, um, Anals al Fiki, Egyptian politician, Ivan Guta, Ukrainian. <clears throat> he had moved over 200 million into shell companies, etc., etc. Ukrainian agricultural baron. Oh, there he is, Abdul Halim Kadam. He was a Syrian politician, the vice president of Syria, high commissioner to Lebanon. Oh, they know how to, know how to get those titles, eh? And uh, he was a loyalist of uh, Assad. And um, they're all pals of Putin. Putin was in Syria. I mean, you just have to look at the uh, the Wagner group. Where in what countries have they been uh, fighting or terrorizing the people, rather, who are fighting for their justice, you know, in, in certain countries and don't want their money being stolen. So then the um, they send in the Wagner group. And all these countries, you know, <coughs> they're all pals. Of Mr. Putin, of course. Zahid Ali Akbar Khan, um, engineer, research, laboratories, oh, well, a lieutenant general. Vakar Ahmed Khan in the Senate. All these people, they all are McDonald's, Pakistan, a, a businessman, a sultan, another aristocrat, yeah. Sultan Ali Lakhani. They are they're all on the list and many, many others. There are 30,000 people on the list. Can you imagine? That this this list is a bomb, you know? And they didn't want further talks about it. Luis Carlos de Leon, you know, de Leon, it means he's an aristocrat. Uh, former Prime Minister of the Ukraine, Lazarenko. So he was probably under, um, yeah, this guy was under um, uh, the the other dictator, like in the Ukraine, the one um, who was the president at the time of the uh, the Euro Maidan, uh, Ronald Lee Fuk Fuk Shu, um, a chairman of the stock exchange, you know, that they all know where the money is. Well, Marcos, Fer well, he's very corrupt, a dictator, a, a kleptocrat, that means he's stealing, you know. Uh, his wife, same, they're all very 
corrupt, known for this, Hisham Talat Mustafa, um, uh, the parliament of, uh, so uh, he took 800 million, and it's all Credit Suisse. So again, that's why they call it the uh, Swiss secrets. Gamal al-Din Mohammed Hosni al-Sayyad Mubarak. Well, that's another aristocratic name. It says World Economic Forum behind the picture. You can see that. Um, Said Kair, oh, the intelligence, you know, they, they all go for the key positions so they can um, keep the people in, in, in hostage. Rana Mubashir, a, uh, a journalist. Khaled Nezar, a general. And um, oh, he was, his father was an officer in the French army. And here, Akhtar Abdur Rahman, another general. They're all, and the, uh, he's from the ISI, the, um, uh, the secret intelligence of um, uh, um, Pakistan. Billy Rautenbach. Ah, we get to the South Africans here. Um, this is, uh, well, we don't say Zimbabwe, we say Rhodesia. It's, Zimbabwe is not a good name. Uh, it's not the real name. Kosim Roba, Tajikistan, or well, I mean, Radulovic, a Serbian drug lord. They're all, you know, the, the Swissies, they like drug lords, you know, give them a lot of money. And the Swiss are proud of it, you know, of their banks, you know. It's about the only thing they have, wealth and banks, you know. For the rest, it's empty, you know. It's just like a, a, a spiritual, mental hole, you know. There's nothing there. It's empty. It's, uh, it's only for the rich and it's only about money. For the rest, it's, uh, it's a boring, empty, not free place. Uh, so what was he? Hussein Salem, a, a businessman from uh, uh, Egypt. And of course, the, the, the list is far much longer than this here. It's uh, 30,000 people. And I guess 30,000 people, they haven't even been through it all. You know, it's so much. Armen Sarkisian, you all see the name, the syllable Sar in his name, meaning the king or pharaoh, like in a sarcophagus or Caesar, the Tsar. So this is another aristocrat. He was the prime minister of Armenia. They all go for all these pharaohs. They all are on the, on the key positions. And then they go stealing from the people. You know? I mean, that's what the aristocracy has always been doing. Eduard Zeidel, a German businessman, the biggest bribe scandal in German history. Here we got Alvaro Sabrino, uh, an Angolan uh, banker. So he's got a Portuguese name because um, Angola uh, was a, um, a Portuguese um, colony. And um, yeah, I was sent there in the war when the when the Portuguese uh, withdrew their from their colonies in 1966. Then the Russians came, and uh, it was during the Cold War. So South Africa said, "Well, we don't want those Russians uh, right next to us because they promised the Angolan people to come um, with agricultural like help and tractors and all that." and um, agricultural machines, but they came with, uh, with uh, tanks and helicopters. And so a 23-year uh, war started off from 1966 to 1989. That was the end of the, uh, the Soviet era in 1989. Then the Russians, they withdrew, and, um, which is called the Border Wars. And... Um, well, he, he laundered 5.7 billion. You know, yeah. Then we got James Soon, another from the People's First Party in Taiwan, from the Taiwan frigate scandal with France. Omar Suleiman, 
a general intelligence officer, you know, God knows how many people he tortured, uh, the vice president of Egypt, and he was uh, in the um, intelligence, just like Mr. Putin himself. Eh? And um, <clears throat> Nadesta Toka Tokayeva, first lady of Kazakhstan. That's it's a funny country anyway, Kazakhstan. Remember how the Russians were there just recently, you know, like in uh, what was it, January? Uh, Vazif Talibov, um, uh, Azerbaijan, another authoritarian ruler of the Nakhichivian Autonomous Republic. And here's, I, I never heard of this, eh? so it's some sort of a uh, next to uh, Armenia a uh, Islamic uh, Republic who are not really very Islamic. <laughs> so Antonio Velarda is from the Andrangheta. Remember how I made this video about it, how they have the same uh, rituals, uh, satanic blood rituals like the Navy Seals and the Knights Templars and the Freemasons. Uh, Calabria, there's the car in it, you know, meaning the soul when you're still alive, like in America and Ka Nada, uh, all these, um, they're all pharaonic names, the, the, the origins, yeah. And here, Nervis Villalobos, he funneled almost 25 million and uh, 11 and a half million euros through Credit Suisse, uh, through Andorra, that's a principality in the Pyrenees, in between the mountains, in between France and Spain where you can buy cheap stuff because they don't have any, um, no taxes being paid. Well, here you got uh, Hugo Chavez. He's also on the list. You know, they all got nice smiles and then they, uh, they steal everything of you. And Bruno Wang, a businessman and a philanthropist. Philanthropist, okay, difficult word. And, um, uh, you know, they, they earn a lot of money and then they, they just give like 0.01%. Uh, they give it away. So everybody thinks, oh, he's harmless and what a nice person, you know. They, they always do this. So they, they, they sort of bribe us with it, you know. And, well, here are the rest. And here are some other Swiss leagues here. From 2015, you got the Paradise Papers from 2017, the Pandora Papers. It's it's all it's all related to Switzerland, eh? This this is even that long ago. I mean, have you heard about it? I haven't. They just you know it's all hidden under the Panama Papers. Well, we heard about that one, and now we got you know, banking in Switzerland. So people, this is the base of all evil. You know, I've been telling you this, you know, you, and they don't, they just want to hide it and rub it under the carpet. So it needed a lot of, a, a little war in the Ukraine, which is going to end soon. Mark my words, it's it's not going to be a, a world war or something. It's just, um, uh, they want a new system. As I told you in my previous videos, they want to mix everything up and uh, it's the agenda and then, uh, um, give everyone the um, um, the bug war poison of Pharaoh. The list of criminals, <clears throat> dictators, oligarchs, aristocrats, and polytricksters of the Swiss se secrets scandal also corresponds with the list of countries where Putin's private Wagner oligarch army has been active in order to protect dictators and drug dealers, aristocrats and the rest. So this is, in fact, it says here, join Wagner, join PMC, private military company Wagner to protect the peace and tranquility of some civilians from bandits and terrorists. Well, this is inverse speech, of course, it's a lie. It's exactly the other way around. You know, they always lie, all these politicians. It's, it's, a, um, it's a politician army, you know, of the oligarchs. 
Uh, so this is a complete lie. In fact, the Wagner Group it attacks it attacks the civilians and it protects bandits, oligarchs, and terrorists. People from the same countries the Wagner Group were active in can be found on the Swiss, Swiss secrets list as it's the aim of Pharaoh's nobility to parasite on humanity and steal from entire nations and peoples with the help of Swaziland, which is Ali Baba's cave of these pharaonic robber barons. Look, I almost made this film almost 10 years ago in 2014. Ukraine crisis, rich Russians move their money to Switzerland. For fear of sanctions, many wealthy Russians now move their money to Switzerland being a neutral country. Now it's party time for the Swiss private banking industry based on information collected from Swiss top banksters. Um, bankers, sorry. Um, so here you can see this. It's, um, it's from May 10th, 2014 on my channel Hatsefrat. Here's the title. Octogon orders and Putin obeys. This is how it is. So, and as Putin himself in 2014 had already 2 billion frauded dollars in the Swiss banks, I suppose the Prussian Putin is also on the list somewhere and probably under another name. I already showed it here in my latest film, The Black Prince of Prussia, here on the same channel, Gyuri, about uh, Putin already 10 years ago, he was having $2 billion uh, uh, in Switzerland. Yeah, and this is apart from the uh, Sw Swiss secrets scandal, this is being written today, how Swiss markets help pay for Russia's war in the Ukraine. And commodity markets are in the spotlight as Russia keeps selling its oil and gas through special deal specialized dealers in Switzerland. The business brings in billions of dollars that could be used to fight the war in the Ukraine. So commodities are in fact are products that hasn't been that haven't been um, harvested yet like oil and gas, it's still in the ground, or like wheat in the Ukraine, which is going to be very expensive because um, the people in Ukraine uh, and maybe in Russia as well, they can't sow the wheat now, so there won't be any harvest. So the wheat, which isn't there yet, that has to be like half, should be harvested like uh, in October this year, this is called a commodity on the on the stock exchange. Yeah. So there's a lot of um, speculations going on with commodities. And commodities can bring down the entire stock exchange and bring another financial crisis, which might be very well be the case because of the, um, the oil, gas and wheat commodities, uh, which are going to be very unstable now. So here you can read it once more. Revealed Credit Suisse League unmasks criminals, fraudsters, and corrupt politician. Swiss secrets. So the Swiss cross is like turned around and it opened the uh, the lock. Here, Switzerland. It's a mountain full of money. So therefore, because of the Swiss secret scandal. Vladi the liar knew that he was going to lose everything he had robbed from the Russian people and put on Swiss bank accounts in the motherland of the financial elite. So it needed a distraction in order to suffocate this huge 
financial bank affair. So four days later, Putin started this strategically senseless Ukraine war in order to rub this latest Swiss banking scandal under the carpet and for some other reasons I already mentioned to you. Thank you Switzerland for making this war possible. The art of distraction and mission accomplished and the whole world only talking about the Ukraine war distraction with the world media liars leading the general public opinion to follow this diversion and diversionary war. So the global financial elite and oligarchs like Putin and his pals have all the time to transfer their accumulated wealth from the Swiss banks from their Swiss caves and Swiss safes to a safer place. Thus, nobody talking about the Swiss secrets scandal anymore. Swissy, you've got a lot of blood on your hands again. Of innocent European children getting butchered because of you, Swissy, with anybody who dares to talk about it, goes to jail, gets terrorized and tortured, as you did to me and my family, Swissy. For Pharaoh's world elite, their various dictators, oligarchs, and their gangster bays in the Alps. The deaths of thousands of Ukrainians and hundreds of slaughtered Ukrainian children is just a mere collateral damage and a small price to pay for the safety of their wealth and treasures of this murderous gang ruling over humanity. The Swiss Swiss Secrets Credit Suisse Bank used to have another name before 1997, which was Schweizerische Kreditanstalt, with a logo reminding of a Nazi swastika. So here you see their logo, which they had before and during the Second World War, you see. It is a Schweizerische Kreditanstalt. And they had another big scandal in the 1990s about the Jay Walker um, bank accounts, which they, uh, they wanted to keep. And they had to pay out uh, one or two billion, I think one billion. So, and after that, I think it was in the same year, 1997, uh, they changed this uh, swastika sort of logo uh, towards the new, their, their new logo. Uh, they're real smart, they're always into hiding the Swissies, right? like the hidden bank, uh, the hidden hand of the Freemasons. You know, so Schweizerische Kreditanstalt. So you see this here, they got both names here in German, Schweizerische Kreditanstalt. Here they got their swastika logo with a lot of squares in it, you know, for the square and compass. And the French name has always been Credit Suisse, you know, the Suisse secrets. And this is from 1990 and they changed the name and the logo until to the, the Swiss, the French name. Uh, Credit Suisse um, in 1997 and this is from 1990 and I think the scandal with the Jay Walker uh, bank accounts from the out of the Nazi era with all these people murdered by the Nazis and the Swiss didn't want to give it back I think it was in the same year as from uh, 1997 or around there and then they completely changed the uh, the logo 
of course, the Nazis and Mr. Hitler, they adored the logo, of course, you know, and also the Freemasons because it got a lot of squares in it. The compass should be here as well somewhere, but uh, I should have to study it. And of course, it's in red and white Knights Templar colors. So here you can read it. So it was not only the Credit Suisse here, but here the Union Bank of Switzerland called UBS. But the, the, the year was 1997 and the Credit Suisse, they were deep into it as well. You know, they were a bit smarter. They already destroyed the papers. And um, so this guy here, Christoph Mayli, um, is a Swiss-American whistleblower and former security professional. In 1997, Mayli illegally disclosed to third parties that the Swiss Bank Union Bank of Switzerland was destroying documentation of, uh -huh -huh, I can't pronounce it, sorry, after a federal arrest warrant etc. It was a huge scandal. Oh yeah, they had to pay uh, 1.25 1 bill, 1 billion uh, dollars to the, uh, the jaywalkers. So of course I can't pronounce this word here because uh, if I do uh, my video might be censored by the, um, by the jaywalker censorship. And um, so this guy he visited me once um in Bern when I was still in Switzerland really nice guy we had dinner together and uh good person and um uh, so he st we stayed the whole day um here you see you know Credit Suisse you know they're involved in it anyway you know they're all involved in it and they got here the Swiss Bankers Association I wonder what kind of a logo they have. Might be interesting to know that. Um, well, let's have a look then. So it's the same year when they changed this sort of a swastika logo. You understand? They're always, you know, sly bankers, you know. Oh, look, they got a red dot. That's all, the sun. And the red dot for the um, meaning, the compass, you know. So, because um, this is Amun Ra, and um, so there should be the square as well, somewhere as well. But the square was already in the um, in the swastika logo. But uh, okay, it's not really obvious. But um, must be a square somewhere, and then the other one there must be somewhere a circle um, referring to the compass. So when you read this Swiss Nazi propaganda about Switzerland having the lowest crime rates in the world, it is of course a lie and inverse speech, as they are in reality the biggest gangsters who ever walked on the earth. And of course, for the major crime league they play in, of Swiss banks and Swiss pharmaceutical companies, you must be able to present a so-called safe environment to attract the various criminal clients from all over the world to deposit their stolen wealth in a safe environment. Strictly held together by the authoritarian Octogon and its corrupt Swiss Nazi police and fascist Swiss authorities, who by all means have just one thing in mind, and that's to keep a low profile on a national level, abiding by the Swiss Omerta, laws of silence. It says, one in two citizens in Switzerland have guns. Lowest crime rate in the world in Switzerland. Well, it really looks like paradise, doesn't it now? But they just don't talk about the major crime league they're in, eh? People, I say it again. There's only one way 
to stop all these wars and injustice towards humanity and that's to entirely annihilate Switzerland. With their Nazi banks, their highly criminal pharmaceutical companies, their totally useless ONGs in Geneva, like the United Nations, the Red Cross, and the rest, and their conspirational Swiss WEF World Economic Forum. So here we can see the former revolutionary leader Muammar Gaddafi of uh, Libya. And I'll read it for you here. After the Swiss police accused Libyan leader, so I repeat, the Swiss police accused the Libyan leader, uh, Gaddafi's family of criminal activity in Switzerland. So that was a lie, as the Swiss police, they always lie. And I know them, they lied a lot towards me and my family. Then Gaddafi submitted a proposal to the United Nations to abolish Switzerland and divide it up between France, Germany and Italy. Good idea. Just eliminate and reset the damn place called Switzerland that has already too long been the Alpine base for all the world's robber barons. Enough is enough, a eh, Swissy. Let the vengeance of the revolutionary leader be upon you, Swissy. And if I, Sean Ross, must be his spell of vengeance, then so be it, Swissy.